David Olson with the uh, Press Enterprise, and I'm here with Donna Hobbs, who just a few hours ago got off that uh, Carnival cruise ship that was stuck at sea for the last four days, stranded at sea for the last four days. Now, when did the cruise start? The cruise started on Sunday. So you had a few hours of re rest and relaxation. <laughs> what happened on Monday? Um, on Monday morning at about 5.30, we were awoken to um, the whole boat like shimmying and really loud, awful noises. And um, by 6.12, that's when the TV that, you know, shows where the cruise is going mm -hmm. and everything and all the information on the cruise, that's when it shut off and all the electricity went out. Oh and at gosh. that point, the PA came on and said, please move up to a deck that has open air deck so that you can not be breathing smoke, mm -hmm. <laughs> basically. <laughs> How so, bad was the smoke? Um, it was bad in parts, mm -hmm. um, but where we were, it was just pretty much the smell of smoke. Mm -hmm. We couldn't really see a lot of smoke until you got up to the top deck, and then you could see all the smoke coming out and going up to the open air areas. Was it scary? Um, no, it was disconcerting, but they were all, the crew was all very calm and mm -hmm. all helping you to be calm, and it was fine. And so. And what was it like to be on a ship for three, three and a half days or so that's stranded at sea? Dead in the water. Um, <laughs> It was, uh, for us, just a lot of waiting, um, it was just a lot of hanging out. Thankfully, we were, mm -hmm. we were with friends from um, the Grove Church, mm -hmm. and so we just hung out a lot and um, talked a lot. We read books a lot um, and hung out some more <laughs> <laughs> and waited in food lines. And your husband's pastor at the church. He so. is a pastor at the church. <laughs> so. And so you went as a group, it was 10 of you, right? There were the 10 church. of us. So that helped at least have that many people that you all knew each yes, other? Yes, that was fun. <laughs> that was fun, yes. So we did a lot of laughing together. And what was the worst thing about being on that ship for that long, uh, stranded, basically? Uh, the worst thing was not having toilets on Monday. Mm -hmm. And it was just not pleasant. I can imagine. <laughs> <laughs> so when that got fixed, for most of us, we were very happy. So. Now I understand. Uh, tell me what happened when you woke up on Tuesday morning. <laughs> When I woke up on Tuesday morning, I just had the Gilligan's Island song going through my head, and I had words that were just there. I'm thinking, I need to write a song, and I'm not a songwriter, and I'm not really a singer. <laughs> but I just had this, this jingle in my head and started writing. I wanted to make my friends laugh. Okay. The crew started late due to a Coast Guard check. Once aboard, we had some fun. This lasted till the power blew, then it was a one-day return, a one-day return. The power blew due to a smoke fire, the toilets did not work. Our food was vegetables and fruit on the two-day return, the two-day return. The captain and his crew worked hard, John Hill gave us the news. We appreciate all that they did on the three-day return, the three-day return. No casino shows hot food or lights. Our ship could only float. Bathrobes were worn throughout the boat on the four-day return, the four-day return. The Coast Guard came the Navy to a copter dropped off food. We waited for the tugboats too on the five-day return, the five-day return. Long lines like Disneyland for meals, more salads and more fruit, cucumber and cheese sandwiches on the six-day return, the six-day return. Chihuahua, the first tugboat's name, she'd sue the other one. They pulled the splendor mightily on the seven-day return, the seven-day return. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. San Diego, not the sea. San Diego, not the sea. So, Dana, had you ever been on a cruise before? No, this was our very first one. <laughs> And I understand that Carnival has offered everyone on that uh, ship a voucher for a cruise, a free yes, cruise. Yes, they actually finding? reimbursed us for the cruise mm -hmm. that we were on, and then they're giving us a free cruise as well. And um, we have to use it within two years. And are you planning to take them up on that offer? I'm just glad to be home right now. <laughs> I'm not sure. I, I think our group would like us all to go together, um, but I wouldn't. 
really even think about it for a year. <laughs> Probably not eager to get back onto the scene. Not yet. Not yet. Not today. <laughs>